Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Five website mistakes and how you can actually avoid them. You see, we work with a lot of coaches, consultants, and small business owners, and half of them, you might be surprised, still don't see the relevance or the need to actually have a website or some sort of credible online presence. Uh, Most coaches would have maybe a Facebook presence, Instagram, and they get a lot of um, TikTok videos liked, shared, and they think that is what... um, will actually help them get a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I know before me or before anybody else, there was a lot of gurus out there that are, you know, claiming that you don't necessarily need a website. And I I call that BS, you know, because a business or you being a coach consultant or small business owner, your online presence, regardless of what industry um, you're in, can have a massive impact on your success. And in this day and age, some businesses still don't realize that a majority of their customers will visit their website before making a purchase. And having a very strong online presence, particularly on your website, can actually make or break your generating of more revenue. I mean, we're always talking about you having a business that's profitable and enjoyable, but if you don't have a entry into um, the online space, which is in the form of a website where people can actually come through and understand what your purpose is and differentiate who your ideal customer is and learn how you are actually better than your competition, then how else do you think you're going to be competing? And yes, the quality of your website actually impacts the results. But the purpose of this podcast is to just stress the simple importance of making sure that you actually do have a website. And if you want to see how your website compares against um, your competition, we do have a website audit tool on www.livelongdigital.com.au. Just plug in your website there and your email address and you will get a report that actually tells you um, where you are missing the mark in terms of having a website that actually converts. All right. The reason why we are or why I'm actually saying this is because I've helped numerous coaches and consultants and, um, you know, businesses of varying sizes actually create a digital presence. Um, In actual fact, if you look at our testimonies and our case histories, we've helped more than 450 businesses in and around Australia to actually start, scale and grow a profitable enterprise. And in some cases, most businesses are hesitant to get online just because they feel that they're probably not take savvy enough and they don't understand how to actually manage a website or they just think it's just way too difficult and it's easy to just show up on Facebook and pay to play. And in other instances, some coaches and consultants are actually concerned about the price. And the reason why I'm actually saying out this um, you know, podcast today and what prompted me to talk about this topic is I'm going back and forth with a potential customer who is asking me all these questions about the website and why it's important and why I'm charging the amounts that I'm charging and all of that stuff. Well, let me tell you something. If you can't show how and why you are better than your, uh, um, you know, your competition. And if you don't have a permanent place where you tell the story, you want your customers to believe about the value you create and you don't show people how you actually reach out to them so they can get your uh, services, your consulting, your training, your information or your expertise at times that are convenient to them, 
then you, my friend, are not in business. But the good news is there is a solution out there that would actually work for you. And if you still need convincing, well, let me tell you something. Here are some top reasons why it's actually important for your business to have a website that is uh, converting. If you're a coach or a consultant, credibility should be at the top of the reasons why you're going to need to have some sort of um, you know, online presence. And one of the main reasons you should have a website for your business is to increase your business credibility. Chances are there are several providers that are offering similar services to you. And one way you can actually stand out is by having a website that looks good and clearly communicates quality information to your um, consumers or people that are in your target market space. And without a website, people may question you, the legitimacy of your business because the bar to entry in this space that we're in has been so lowered by the fact that anyone with a pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt and a laptop can call themselves a coach or consultant and having a website is an opportunity to actually make a great first impression and give people the comfort that you're a real legitimate business that will help people with their problems i know obviously as a coach or consultant growing your own business is tough you're cold calling potential clients and having them maybe hang up in your face and you probably sending out hundreds of emails without getting as much as a hey Thank you so much for reaching out and you're wasting thousands of dollars on ad spend without generating any qualified leads. The problem might be you are not credible enough in their um, own eyes. You know what I mean? Sometimes it feels like no one wants to buy what you're selling. And if you're relying on your business to pay rent and fo put food on the table, then you're going to need to showcase that you're a credible source that can solve whatever problems people are going through. Remember, as coaches or consultants, we are dealing with real world problems. We're dealing with people's lives, people's finances, people's relationships. And if you cannot at least show some sort of effort that here I am, I'm the right person to alleviate you from whatever pain you're going through, then if you can't look after your own business, how are you going to look after somebody else's life or whatever it is that they're going through? Okay. And one other thing that a lot of people um, will then gravitate towards your business is just your brand. Because people buy from those that they know, like, and trust. So if you're showcasing your brand to prospective customers, this becomes one of the most important things that you'd want to do for your business. Because your brand then, you know, helps you create ambassadors out there which are, you know, singing praises about your world-class service and the world-class experience that they have um, established. And it's easy for you then to then show up to, um, you know, skeptics or people that have not yet quite been exposed to your expertise so that with your brand, you can literally justify their failures on why they haven't been able to achieve what it is that your solution provides and encourage their dreams. And only a fully formed brand, either a personal brand or your business brand, which is delivered through your website. Um, will help them uh, make a decision uh, faster. Okay, so it is actually one of the most important things that you can do for yourself and the vehicle for you to deliver that brand will be your platform where you actually tell your story. And what better place to do that, um, you know, instead of um, your website. So if you clearly establish who you are, what you represent, and what you actually stand for, you increase the chances of customers buying from you. And this is also something that can actually set you apart from your competitors. Anyone can be an NLP practitioner. Anyone can, um, you know, instigate change management or marketing management or HR, um, you know, protocols in any business. But your life story and your experience are the things that set you apart where your platform um is is you know because people should hear it they should see it they should read it they should experience it 
And this is where you showcase your mastery. All right. This is how you then set yourself apart from your competitors. Not that you've got better customer service, not that you've got um, a better nurturing system that doesn't set you apart. That's just, you know, what is expected of our customers out there. And without a website, it can be incredibly challenging for you to actually control the narrative of how people can easily find and how people can relate to the information about your business. You know, how else are you going to be able to tell your story um, in a way that is uniform and consistent and you don't have to worry about what the alg algorithm is thinking about today? And once you've got a brand that's out there, you now have a way to actually convert your audience. You, your website creates for you a conversion strategy where you actually go in and deepen the relationships with your, pro, um, in your prospective uh, customers and start turning um, onlookers or you know, searchers of the internet, internet explorers into leads. Because perhaps one of the most intriguing reasons for you to have a website for your business is because it can actually increase your chances of getting leads. Yes, maybe you might be paying loads and loads of money, um, you know, or wasting thousands of dollars on ad spend without generating any qualified leads or you're sending out hundreds of emails without getting as much as thank you for reaching out because these people don't know um you they don't know how to equate what it is or the solutions that you're providing uh because they've got no reference point and the reference point would be none other than your website and once people find you online they become interested in your product or your service and they want more and they will you know they'll know how to contact you thanks to the information that you've provided us on your website which actually then gives you the import um the opportunity to increase your sales and convert so many other people so you can help people um you know um with whatever modality that you're providing out there even though websites have a cost when they're used correctly they have positive return on investment because you don't have to then keep repeating yourself to everybody else who's um, inquiring about your business out there. Once your website is converting, you need to have a growth strategy. This is basically a plan for attracting even more customers. And this is where organic traffic actually starts to, you know, uh, pay dividend, you know, because once you're online, you have maybe a web SEO optimized website, which obviously you have a chance of showing up on Google results. And this actually means that when people are searching for a product or a service, there's a chance that your website will actually show up in the results. And it then gives you an opportunity to drastically increase your customer base. And we all know that when we now have a lot of these leads converting them into happy customers that actually pay, stay and refer, all you got to do is just keep tapping into those people that are, um, you know, working, those people that are actually converting. Because let me, let me tell you something, as an entrepreneur, okay, marketing or having a website or generating leads is just one aspect of running a successful business. You know, you're hiring, you're managing staff, you're balancing books, you're driving growth and a whole lot more. And it all feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions all at once. And I can understand as a coach or consultant, your real goal is just to help your clients. You want to spend as much time as possible changing people's lives and solving people's problems. And you don't want to waste countless hours each week trying to navigate the world of uh, online marketing. If you've got a website that has already identified your target market and has got a clear message, um, it becomes a perpetual lead capturing device. And once you've got that in play and Google understands what it is that you do and who you do it for, it will be driving traffic, um, you know, organic traffic that you don't even have to pay for. And once you have all of that in place, you start having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And, you know, having a website just really gives you a reference point um, for where your potential clients and your current clients can reach out to maybe they want support or they want some sort of customer service just so that they, or maybe they want to refer clients to you. 
okay um you know when people know where to send um you know referrals to and the story to give um you know people that might need your service this actually makes your marketing a whole lot cheaper you see now where the website is starting to uh pay for itself because it saves you time you don't have to keep repeating yourself uh to new people that are coming through because a lot of coaches and consultants they get calls from prospects or existing customers just asking them simple questions maybe about location and um, maybe hours of operation and if you miss the call your customer is left unhappy and guess what then happens they might start looking for uh, another provider you know but calls can also maybe distract you as a business owner um you know or your team because you then no longer focus on the important parts of your business Whereas if you've got a website that is fully functional, it reduces these calls and it actually increases internal productivity. And at the same time, it actually helps your customers find all this information without needing to call, which ultimately provides an all round better user experience. Because if people can find the information that they want, if you notice, not a lot of people like being on the phone these days. So if they can find all the information that they want, it makes it super easy for them to actually make an informed decision about what the next step would be in their buyer's journey. And if you've got any announcements or if you've got any updates, Yes, you can put them on social media and inform whoever you think is your audience. But if they are on your website, you know, you know that the right kind of people that need to hear that information will definitely get that message. And since your website is available 24-7 and you can't be available 24-7, um, it's easy for you to actually post all of these updates and announcements to your customers, all right, without them having to wake you up in the middle of the night, um, just trying to find out what time you're opening up tomorrow. And it's a way to keep them up to date on just about everything that you're doing. If you've got new products or if you've got new systems, maybe these days with the pandemic, you've got new protocols that you're following, all of that information, if it's available on your website, then obviously it just gives you a good night's sleep. And when something is particularly relevant to them, it actually increases the chances of you being able to then upsell them. You know why? Because they know they can find you in the sea of me too coaches and consultants up there. You know? And you might just say, oh yeah, you're saying that because you're a digital marketing person or you know, this is your plan to then maybe upsell um, you know, your, your audience to websites and things like that. Let me tell you something. If you're planning to win in this game and actually leveraging on digital marketing to increase maybe your leads and actually grow your business, you would likely want to drive traffic to your website or a landing page instead of just using social media as your online presence. And for you to do this effectively, I mean, you you want to leverage historic traffic that has been going to your website so you can target the most qualified customers and get the best return on your investment on any ad spend. This is when you can put a pixel or some sort of, um, you know, analytics tracking that you know, Google or Facebook will then pick up on people that have once visited your site and you can retarget them just because people are not going to immediately jump onto uh, any offers that we might have. They need to know, like, and trust us a little bit more. And if you then are spending money on ad spend, it's easy for you to retarget these people. Okay. And this is something that can be set up, um, you know, easily so it's best to get your website running early even if you're not planning to run ads at the moment because it starts collecting data for you b b without you even being present um you know for that data to be collected okay and websites have become essential to businesses today and i strongly recommend creating one if you haven't done so already and you can actually improve it over time but the key is to start. You know, when I officially launched my business, the first significant um, thing that I did was create a website. And that was 
obviously in 2014, 2015, where websites were still, um, you know, very difficult to come by because you needed a developer, you needed a whole lot of things. But these days, there are so many tools and products are there in the marketplace that can help you create um, a, a well-to-do website that actually does um, the trick. You know, I was thrilled when I immediately saw that all of my hard work and investment was starting to pay off just simply because I was now generating leads and people were referring to my site. And I was actually amazed when people from all around the world that I didn't even know started asking for my consulting help, all because they had found me on the website and in the directories that I was putting myself out there. And no one, you know, no one much surprised me um, than when I landed my first six-figure gig with a company in the UK with a client I had never met in person. And I can literally trace over $500,000 in revenue to leads that have just been generated strictly through my website. I mean, over the years we've done SEO and obviously we're digital marketing experts. So I do know my way around the internet and the website has been the only um, constant thing, um, you know, that has helped us uh, be, do and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. And that's what I really want to impart, um, you know, to you. I'm not bragging or trying to impress you with all these figures and numbers and everything else i just want to impress upon you that website actually do work and let me tell you something but and this is a really huge but i got a ton of constructive feedback on my website on everything from my photo on my home page if you notice the photo that's on my home page there it's now professionally done. Uh, back in the time, you know, it used to be like I was just this party boy um, to the language that I used, um, you know, and the language that I used in my value proposition, which I still do uh, up until now. So I made a few changes, which was a big mistake, a huge no one knows your business more than you actually do, okay? And when you're creating and, and, and going to um, work on your website, you really need to make sure that you've got the right information, you created your why, your purpose, you've targeted who your ideal customer is, and for you to know who your ideal customer is, you need to find out who exactly needs your information because not everyone is your customer. Who is already buying the products or services that you're selling right now? And who can you actually create new information for? And then find a way to serve all of those uh, people. You know what I mean? Once you have gotten that, Read and repeat because once you've identified your target market, it's so easy for you to clarify your message and speak directly to the people that are actually going through the problems that you are um, able to uh, fix for them. And once you've gotten all of that, showcase the difference. All right. What is your actual story? Because your life story and your um, experience is what then differentiates you in the marketplace. How and why are you better than each and every other uh, person that is out there? And why is it so important that your people will be, um, you know, your, your, your target audience would want to work with you? So you want to be clear on the purpose and strategy of everything having to do with your website because every page needs to have a purpose and a goal which ultimately is a call to action so that you can engage people in some way right you want to ask people to download uh, something send an email call you sign up for your newsletter edc all right because if you choose to put articles and videos on your website which you absolutely should because how else are you going to be able to tell a compelling story they should have a purpose, which is to warm up your leads and make them feel trust in your competence and connect with your personality, okay? Each and every one of us is super, super different, all right? Like if you put out your fingers out there, or if you put out your hands out there, you notice that no two fingers on the same hand are of the same height, all right? So once you've gotten all that, you want to make sure that you're reaching out to the right people that get you, that are willing and able to pay for your services, okay? And all of this is okay, you know, in as much as creating your website and everything else. You should also measure what's actually working, 
okay because there's no point in just having a website for website sake so this is where you install analytics or heat maps on your site and you should definitely use them these are the things that are you know you put on your site um you know that makes it work better and gives you tremendous insights as to what is actually drawing your ideal clients and what is not doing it for them if you want greater results do more of what's working and quickly dump what is not okay because if you are uh, creating for and relating to an audience, okay? And if you don't quite know what it is that is actually bringing them to your website, then you'll be using the wrong bait or the wrong lead magnets, and then you'll wonder why your website is actually not converting, okay? And one other thing that I also notice when people are creating their website is the language that they use. Yes, we might be able to understand what it is that we want to do but remember our customer is already bombarded with so much information we want to use pull versus push language okay and i'll explain this uh to you a little bit pull language is um the leading with the felt need um you know that 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 your client has what does your client absolutely want from you okay and push language is where you sort of hope to get them okay where are you trying to take them to pull is when you're actually telling them what is it that they actually need instead of telling them what it is where they need to go to and when i get that no one um you know, I actually get that no one likes to feel like they have a problem. But the truth is people rush to Google more often than not when they have a problem. And they're more likely to part with their money when they have a pain point that they want to resolve. No one wants to sit, sit around with a pain point, um, you know, because everyone is trying to run away from uh, pain. Okay. So if you use pool language, you are leading with what the need is that the customer has do you actually understand the right pain that your customers are going through right now do you understand what it is that is keeping them up at night you know if i'm looking at my um you know audience or if i'm looking at people that we end up helping you know your coaches and consultants um you know people that are looking to maybe generate more leads and uh grow their business one of the things that um happening in their business is they're spending most of their days working isolated by themselves on a computer um maybe in a dark room and hoping that people will actually find them and they're spending the last minutes of their uh, you know on their pillow at night worried about how to get more clients and they really feeling the pinch of the raising ad costs or the changes in the algorithm if i don't write towards those pain points people will never understand why they need to then have a business that's profitable and enjoyable okay so you really need to address your customers pain points that is why you need to have an in-depth understanding of who your target market is and that will be easy and that will be apparent by the type of audience that you are actually um you know um you know attracting to your website and once you do that the way that you address all of this information is through your platform because your blog now becomes more than a fun place to write your latest thoughts of or inspirations it becomes a tool that allows you to have an online um, repository of your intellectual property and a critical way that actually draws in leads and give them immediate value okay because people are coming to the internet to get information and if your blog or your website is then providing that information you create that know like and trust factor that we always talk about and we know that people do business with those that they know like and trust and in in reference to the pool sort of language once you start writing how to uh, set up a, um, you know how to type information you then become named with searchable terms you know what i mean or um you become known for um you know providing that information you become characterized so that people can easily find you with related 
content and you also maybe have calls to action um in between your content there that people can actually then use okay all in all what you are going to be creating for creating as a platform where you can then tell your story and get people to know like and trust you and enhance your credibility in the process and that's what a website can do for you and lastly you want to integrate maybe social proof and ways for uh, people to connect with you so that they get to quickly understand the type of person that you are you know i'm not just talking about testimonials here or case studies or your contact us page whenever you make a promise on your site back it up with maybe an example from your experience and just move the relationship forward with an opportunity to connect because people want to work with um with what has worked for other people and one piece of advice i've constantly given to maybe new consultants or uh coaches is to invent invest properly in a web presence so they can establish their credibility now armed with this hard earned insight from maybe my mistakes or things that our clients is are uh, uh, going through i want to add as you shoot for credibility also shoot for conversion credibility is great but why leave money and opportunity on the table because who knows where your best clients can come from and they could come from your website you know why because people want to work with those that they no like and trust i can't wait to see um you know uh your websites out there um you know you providing value and actually creating for and relating to your audience and i'm really excited to be receiving all the emails about consulting coaching and entrepreneur um entrepreneurship um you know from people asking me all of these questions please keep them coming so that i have um you know enough content uh for these podcasts in the meantime go out there and make sure that you are creating the best website and the best platform so that your audience can be able to find you bye for now thank you for joining us today if you have any questions let's continue the conversation in the live long digital community become a live long digital community member today This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So, look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.